Hi, I'm Maury Saffred. One of the things I want to do is to show people what it's like to go through the process of using what we call PD. Okay, this is a home dialysis treatment. Um, as I go through my own journey of dealing with a uh, type of kidney disease called FSGS, uh, which is scarring of the kidneys, I want to go ahead and show what the process is. A lot of times people wonder how challenging it is or what it's like, and I myself had classes to go to, but although the classes were great, they didn't really show the process of what to do to connect everything. So we're going to go ahead and do this. I've got my little assistant here, Zane, who's going to help us, okay? So we're going to first open these. We've already cleaned our hands, okay? So go ahead and open that up. There we go. This is the cables, right, that we're going to use. So Zane likes to help, and she's three. So if a three-year-old can help, we know this is something that is doable. There we go. And my left white tape. That's right. And you can take that off. Take that off there. And you can separate it from here, right? You want to tear it here? There you go. Good job. Okay, we're going to open this. Okay. We're going to follow directions. We have a book here that tells us exactly what steps to take, what order to take as we put in the cassettes. Okay? But I've memorized this now because I've done it so much. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the soft side in, right, Zane? Okay, let's put that in. That's right. Okay, let's close the door. Close the door. Beep, beep. Good job, okay? Now, <laughs> and go ahead and connect that for me. Good job, okay? And we've got a special way to do this where we pinch here and we pull, pull, twist, and connect. We're going to break the fragile. This allows the fluid to start to go in. Okay. Okay, we're going to take this on over. So you want to take this off for us? Okay, we're going to put this to the top. There you go. Thank you. And what we want to do is we want to connect this because what fluid goes in the body then has to come out. So we use this cord to go ahead and connect to the machine so that it can drain. And this will happen overnight while sweeping. Okay, now I need to wash my hands. And we have to be very thorough about washing the hands so that way we can be sure to make sure we don't put any contamination on it. That's okay. fresh towel. Normally I've got paper towels here to use, but I've got a fresh towel here that I'm going to use for right now. And then what we want to do is come back and press the button. It's going to start testing. Okay. I'm going to open these. Okay. The bags are connected. And it's going to prime. Okay. This means it's going to finish getting ready to warm up so that in about five minutes total, we can go ahead and connect. Now this is connected to me. I'll show you here. This is surgically implanted. And what I'll do is I'll end up connecting when it's finished priming. And I'll connect these two together. And then I'll do that in the restroom. And then I'll lay down for the night. Now in the process of doing that, it's gonna go through several cycles. Depending on how well the kidney is functioning, is gonna determine how many cycles and how much time. A few weeks ago, I was at five hours, and right now I'm at seven because it's based on how long it takes for the body to cycle the fluid. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and pause it, 
and we'll pick up in a little bit. Okay, so typically, um, part of the process is making sure that the bag is okay because we always want to check the date and make sure that the, the level of dextrose in the solution is the right amount. I've already had my blood pressure checked and things like that this evening, but that determines which bag we use because each bag has a different level of sugar content, which then pulls out a certain amount of impurities from the body. So in that that's already done and it's already connected, we can go ahead and connect me to the machine. So again, I'm going to go ahead and clean my hands again. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take the two. I'm going to get myself ready here. Okay. And you're going to follow me. I've got a sanitary wipe that I'm going to use. That's the sanitary wipe. The sanitary wipe thing makes sure that the piece that we're connecting is clean. And typically I would do this um, while the machine is priming, while it's getting ready. Okay. So I'm just going to put this here. I, I don't know where one fits. Yeah. And I'm going to open the cap. Now, this cap, once open, goes directly to me. So we can't afford to leave it open very long because we don't want any air or any impurities to get in it. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly twist, open this, connect. We want to do that in less than about three seconds, two to three seconds. There's usually iodine that is inside the cap that is there. Okay. So now I'm fully connected to the machine. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open. So there's an open line here. I've connected myself. It's going to verify that there's nothing coming in and nothing coming out yet. And then it's going to start the process uh, first draining present fluids in my body out and then it will pump the solution through. So this is a process of what we call peritoneal dialysis. The other form of dialysis is the hemodialysis where people go in and sit in their chairs for like four hours or so. For those of us who are actively working and trying to live an active lifestyle, this is a great option to have at home so that we can continue functioning, purifying our bodies until we get the actual kidney transplant. So I'm hoping and praying that that will come soon. But in the meantime, this is what I'm using. So thanks for taking the time to watch and see what the process is. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or reach out to any of the service providers in your area. I'd like to thank Kaiser Hospital, a lot of the university hospitals in the area, such as UCLA, USC, who provide a lot of either support or resources to help me to better understand this process. So take care and all the best.